Okay, so today we're gonna do a little bit of core and hamstrings. Workout you've probably never seen. So I'm, I'm warming up here. 10 minutes on the step mill. Just get blood going, get some, uh, get my core nice and warm. We're gonna go get her done. Okay, a lot of people neglect their core. I give a whole day to hamstrings and core because, well, first of all, you don't want one side of your legs to look better than the other. Second of all, you wanna make sure your core is taken care of. What we're doing is goblet squats. I like to run the rack with them. I start with 40 pounds, 50, 60, 70, 80 pound dumbbells. You could also use kettlebells for 15 reps. And then, since we gotta climb back down anyway, I do 70, 60, 50, 40, all for five reps. So I climb up with 15 reps, climb down with the same weight for five reps, just cause why the hell not? So I'm gonna grab these, this is my max set for 15 reps. That's right. Okay, now the rule of thumb on getting your stance here, one, two. Let's go a little wider, cause I'm a little bit wider. So it's about there. Torso straight, head always looks straight ahead. You don't want to throw your spine off. Come in here, squat down. Again, work on keeping your back straight, upright. This will cure a lot of structural imbalances. Give you some sexy ass legs. He's using some man weight. So look how his torso's upright, guys. That's the key. As far as using wraps, Steve has a knee issue that he's gonna get fixed. Again, a combo deal, knee surgery and vasectomy. It's a BOGO actually. He's getting at the other site that runs sales all the time. You guys might notice I'm not wearing any shoes. I have these flat brim shoes, flat soled shoes. Bottom line is, I want you to be in natural state as possible. Bare feet, I believe, for movement like goblet squats is the way to go. The wall deadlift. Um, kettlebells preferred, you can also hold a dumbbell like this. Um, this wall protrudes out. Normally you want your feet about, start about four inches from the wall. Okay, put your feet about four inches from the wall. Key is straight upper torso, look straight ahead. Don't hit your face against the wall and don't fall backwards. Two rules, body nice and tight, core nice and tight. It's actually one of the most effective core movements you can do. So grab your kettlebell, straight between the legs. Again, to find your footing, here's a rule of thumb. Put your heels together, out, one, out two, okay? So there you go. Now Steve, the thing is, when I first started these, when I had my back problem, I could barely get to here. And after doing these week to week to week, no back pain for the last, this is my fourth day with no back pain. And it's all due to movements like these, not crunches, not side bends, not sit-ups. I still didn't lose that butt, not at all. Ass is still there. This is what you do to rehab. And thing is, you don't see bodybuilders doing this, but bodybuilding is a longevity, it's a marathon. This is the kind of shit that'll keep you in the game for a long time. So we got all the core shit out of the way. We got the main movements. Now we're gonna move on to some hamstring dominant. We're gonna choose two hamstring exercises. So I'm gonna do laying hamstring curls and standing hamstring curls. If your gym does not have either of those, substitute any other curl, seated hamstring curls or whatever. You can even, if you don't have that, grab an exercise ball and do an exercise curl where you bring your legs in on the exercise ball. For now, let's get to work, man.
sets. About eight to 12 reps, done. Let's go, baby. It's good. Good. Okay, so two versions of curls. Now we're gonna do light straight leg deadlifts. We're nice and fatigued. And frankly, you know what? By this point in the workout, I just wanna make sure I'm hitting that where you elongate and then you contract. It's a very effective movement for hamstrings, but be careful. The reason we prefer dumbbells on these, barbell fix puts you in a fixed position right here. With dumbbells, you can go sideways, you go a little closer, and you can conform to your body type. So let's get it, let's get it on, man. Grab the dumbbells, focus on pushing out at your ass rather than bending, bending at the waist. Feet a little less than shoulder width. Nice, straight, tight back. Again, push out at the ass. Now, with the belt, the reason I wear it, a lot of people mistake belts. They have these ones with the big shit in the back, big things in the back. What a belt does is force you to push out, increasing intra-abdominal pressure. What I find that does for me, it allows me to focus more on pushing back, putting all my mindset right here on them hammies. I love them. So this is the set. Okay, so we're gonna do one exercise for calves, three sets of um, eight to 12 reps. Thing is with calves, people always try to think weird things. And calves have always been a weak point. I've tried everything. What I've found works is training like every other muscle. Same rep range, get a full range of motion, and just go to town. All these funny things like calves need this, calves need that. In my opinion, it's a muscle, bro. Train it like a muscle. And that comes from not science, that comes from 20 years of training. So call me old, call me stupid. Just call me old and stupid. Holy oh, stupid. <laughs> nice slow, nice full extension, nice contraction. I'm actually cramping. <laughs> this is awkward. He didn't say crapping. <laughs> no, I just did crap my pants. All right, so let's go over the workout real quick. We did, we start out with goblet squats. This is my higher rep day, so this is a challenge for you. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or whatever weight fits you for 15 reps, then back down 70, 60, 50, 40 for five reps. You got that? Wall deadlifts, so three sets of 10 reps. Okay, then we moved on hamstrings. Choose two movements, three sets of eight to 15 reps. Then we did straight leg deadlifts, three sets of eight to 12 reps, and then we kill it. A little bit of that calves, and that my friend, is your full core, hamstring, and second leg day workout. Thanks for watching, guys. Post down below if you like it. And again, this will be a full explained article on the tigerfitness.com content site. Keep an eye out for that coming soon.